Jesse. Oh, sorry, Harry. Just give me another slide. Right, ready? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well. Good afternoon, everybody. This is James. And this I is Katie. <laughs> and uh, we thought that we'd do a bit of a sit down video and talk about um, our summer plans and uh, just a bit of a an introduction if you're if you're new a around here. Introduction. Yeah, because um, things change. What's changed? People who come see us. <laughs> but yeah, so we are running coaches. We are based in Milton Keynes with our two cats, Harry and Lily. You can probably hear Harry munching away now. Yeah. It's just always trying to film or we've just recorded our weekly podcast and it's always just about trying to navigate stuff going on in the garden with the neighbours and uh, the cats. But this is what the, it's the reality. Life reality around here so yeah both running coaches um we co-own is that what we're saying co-own the running hub i guess so both directors but well basically we're both coaches of the running hub community found and directors of the running hub community <laughs> found and directors of the running hub community so we are an online running community so you don't have to be based in Milton Keynes to be part of our team um, yeah and community and team are the big word to start something like that. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah, so, you know, previously to this, I um, was an online coach and personal trainer, seeing a lot of clients face to face in the gym, and then the pandemic happened. Um, so. That's behind us now. Yeah, James was furloughed, joined the team as coaches, and then it's just kind of flourished and we've just grown. So, um, yeah, we're now a team of 80 something. Over 80 people. I think the whole community is about 100, isn't it? Yeah, so pretty, pretty amazing. And yeah, we just we love what we do. But we thought we'd sit down because we have committed to um, weekly videos to update you on what's going on with training, races, um, like the community, the community, informative stuff. We just wanted to, um, we just want to give this you is the, the precursor to all the videos that are going to come. Yeah, that you know what we're doing. Otherwise, it's a bit leading down a blind alley, isn't it? Yeah, and okay, I, James doing some running. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not committing to like before. Previously, we've committed to like um, videos on the training blocks, but I'm not doing that this year. I'm just gonna. She's been told she's not allowed to. By who? Me. Oh really? Yeah, I've told you. No pressure on your training this time. Right. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, yeah, basically, bit of a long intro, but we thought we'd sit down today and tell you what our plans are for racing. So I'm going to throw it over to James, tell everyone what you've been doing so far this year and what you've got coming up because we're kind of like halfway through the year now. Yeah, so for anyone who's followed the journey since January will know both of us trained for Paris um, and my goal was never Paris Marathon, Paris Marathon was part of the journey on the way to Amsterdam Marathon. Unfortunately Paris Marathon did not happen but the journey did not get derailed so we're still on the road to Amsterdam, however at the moment we're on a not a detour, we've gone on a scenic route by the track, so I'm doing a bit of speed work. So, as you would have seen in last week's video, we've done the Ifli Mile, and I've done a couple of league events and races before that, and I've still got four or five track events in the calendar before switching my focus solely onto the marathon. Obviously, my training will still cross over in a few weeks' time, where I'll start mixing it amongst the endurance stuff with the speed stuff, and hopefully that perfect blend and when I hit the big half before Amsterdam of the uh, well I've not PB'd in half marathon for I think 11 years now so maybe maybe close you've been close you've been close but yeah. um so why that's you... not me saying I'm going to PB I this <laughs> get, get <laughs> yeah. the region off. getting back yeah that's it getting back into the region of P PB territory so what made you decide to do this track season ahead of your marathon season fun mm -hmm. number one two to not push myself out of my comfort zone, but I think it's too easy to avoid track racing because you think that's not for me, I'm a road runner, or that's with fast runners, that's the people I used to race with when I was a kid, this, that and the other. Um, and actually I've already proved myself that that's not the case, I, I'm more than welcome and hold my own on the track without a doubt. Um, obviously, yeah. obviously I could always want to be faster, want to be in faster races, but that's by the by. Um, and also, speed's good for marathon training, like marathon training is not just about getting the miles in, you need to be faster. If I can run a sub five minute mile, surely 6.30 marathon pace is going to start becoming easy. Yeah, and that's what the like, science behind it, around it, yeah. isn't it? Is if your top end speed is faster, it's going to then help make your easy pace or your marathon pace or your half marathon pace 
feel that little yeah. bunch. Now, away. I'm not somebody who goes into sort of mental well-being and all that sort of stuff, but I think I definitely struggled in parts of the winter block with marathon training. Not struggled, but I got a bit, I don't know how to describe it, not overwhelmed or just a bit bogged down with miles, miles, miles in it. Is this the Kind bit, of made me lose my love for running a little bit. Is that like March sort of time? When we were away for your dad's birthday, for instance, I didn't want to do my long one, did I? But I didn't enjoy the weather. That was enjoyed. the weather, though. Yeah. Well, I think. I think it was a bit of both. There was a few weeks my training wasn't great. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hey, don't poo-poo me, but I'm saying I'm not good at talking about my mental wellness. I'm talking about it. No, no, I'm not. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, that was the weather as well, I think. It wasn't just the fact. But, yeah, I noticed a difference in you in terms of, like, your motivation. And I think, yeah, you're exactly right. You can get a bit bogged down when it's all same, same, same. So by adding this variety in the summer. I mean, I'm enjoying it, just going along to watch, <laughs> not getting involved, but it's good to watch something different um, and get involved with that. <laughs> what am I tickling your foot? <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, that's exciting. Okay. Track and then uh, leading on to Amsterdam. Yes. Good stuff. Okay, so for me, um, start of the year, again, was a focus on Paris. Um, it, for me it was a bit of a again it wasn't like a, a big target because um last summer I rolled my ankle and unfortunately broke my ankle so I had to um work back up and build back up so for me this first part of the year was just getting back the consistency enjoying it and just putting together the best block I could at that time without building up too fast um, so obviously Paris unfortunately didn't happen. Um, I feel like I hit, hit a really good kind of stage around February and March and then with the, uh, it was like with the stagnant part of like having to taper, I picked up a small niggle just going into my taper and then not being able to do the race but then having to taper again, just that, it just somehow didn't all come together for me and I did Milton Keynes Marathon um, in 347 which is not, it's not an awful time at all, but it's for where I was at before leading up to Paris, I kind of thought I could do it a little bit more. So it was it was just for me just getting another, another marathon under my belt. And then since then, it's just been about taking the right recovery and now going into this next block, which for me is London Marathon in October, um, which is two weeks before Amsterdam. So we're on a bit of a different time frame there. And then I have got the Great North Run in the lead up, which is the week after the big half, I think. Um, so we've got a busy summer because alongside that, um, I haven't got really any other races planned in, I don't think so far, unless James tells me otherwise. Um, I'm sure we might- It's not that simple, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Just because I tell you doesn't mean you're gonna do it. <laughs> All right. No, he told me one and I was like, not doing that. But that was also because I've got plans on that day. Um, so yeah, and in the summer it's very, it's a lot more easier to chuck in 5Ks and 10Ks just to kind of benchmark, see where you're at, or just build that into some form of speed work. But for me, um, alongside all of this, we've got a busy summer because we're getting married in September, which is just under two weeks away from London Marathon. We've both got a hen and stag do's. We have got other... We won't be taking the YouTube cameras on hen and stag do's. I don't know, I might take my camera along for the hen no I probably won't to be honest um but yeah we've and then we've got lots of other stuff built in around the celebrations leading up to it so for me personally I've said to James that I want to because James is my coach and um, James is self-coached I want to work hard this summer and I want to put forward the best the best the best block that I can however I also don't want to take the enjoyment and the fun side out of life and what we've got going on because this year is a massive year for us. It's going to be so much fun and so exciting. Hopefully you've got a really excited face on here. <laughs> and I just want us to enjoy that with our family and friends and just take in the summer because we're not going to get to do it again, hopefully. Well, hopefully we'll have next summer as well, next summer after. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean like just getting married, that's it. Yeah. Once and once only. So yeah, that's where we're at. It's just about, uh, and I think we, we both do that, don't we? We can we can blend training hard and enjoy ourselves. Well, we enjoy training and we enjoy running, so that helps. Yeah. And we enjoy working with our clients and the rest of the community and running with them. Yeah. 
so that's that's where i am so yeah follow along for a summer of fun <laughs> and we'll take you on this crazy journey with us that we've got going on over the next few months but yeah definitely um yeah we've like mapped out we've sat down and mapped out like kind of what we can showcase and what you may what want can. what we <laughs> <laughs> what you may want over the summer so we'll be following james around i'll be like literally with a camera following around at all these different track races that he's doing um trying to showcase some of the big races that we do go to like and it's good that we're doing opposite races because then the other one can film yeah um and then just general kind of like marathon training tips easy run uh that how to do your easy run and stuff like that and lots of sort of like how-to videos about watches and bits like that yeah and share sharing the journey of the rest of the community with us yeah absolutely i know that some of them um when we take cameras to events they're like oh i didn't realize you had that with us but yeah we'll hopefully showcase some of the community and how yeah, we may have some budding youtube stars amongst us <laughs> yeah and just to finish off if you wanted to know a little bit about our coaching maybe yeah, i can put our name just there <laughs> and there in bright lights so yeah coaching um we work on a month-to-month -month basis with all of our clients obviously if you've got a big goal that's the target goal but we work on a month-to-month -month basis to make sure that the plan fits around you your lifestyle what you've got going on your targets um it then allows us to progress you um either way if needs be yeah. um we be flexible and personal and bespoke to you yeah so it's like um we give you constant feedback weekly feedback and just check in with us as coaches to see how you are getting on but yeah we'll talk about our coaching a little bit more in another video perhaps but if you do want to um inquire about coaching we've got a couple of spots available for the summer um so james do the honors of get us at james at the run hub co uk <laughs> or katie at the run hub uk okay we also have a special run at the moment for the run hub community coaching is not for you um, and the only way of finding out that special is is to get into the DMs on Instagram at the Rolling Hub community. Yeah, so I don't feel like we talk about this enough on our YouTube channel. So in terms of like the services we do offer, we have coaching, like one-to-one -one coaching with other myself or James, um, and then we ha actually have just a Running Hub community. So you can join the community and yeah, maybe we'll do it. Loads of benefits, all of our on-demand classes, live classes, tips, tricks, nutrition, and you know what? sense of community and part of the team you can't be can't yeah be. no and, like access to us and the community which you know it's priceless obviously yeah i just don't feel like we talk about them enough sometimes so yeah the whole idea of the community is to help you on your performance journey and basically the running hub community is here just to help you either run faster or further than you ever have run before and the community like james says has all of those things so helps we... you unlock and achieve what you didn't know you could absolutely so yeah, we have like live classes, we have an on-demand workout library to help prevent injury, get you stronger. We do monthly community calls. Um, we've got James as a chef, so providing recipes and nutrition tips. But yeah, the benefit is that you have that wonderful community to support you, keep you account accountable, but also you get access to both James and I in terms of coaches and our knowledge, and you can ask us questions at any time. So yeah, like James says, send a DM um, if you want to if you want to join and we can send you an introductory offer and get you on board and part of the team. So there we have it. Summer of fun coming up. Get involved in the team. <laughs> um, yeah, and we'll see you next week for another video.